Hi, I'm Dave from Core Electronics, and today we're going to learn how to use the Atom Text Editor to make developing code for our Onion Omegas a lot smoother and a lot nicer. Let's get started. The first step is to install an SFTP server on the Onion Omega so that the Atom Editor can wirelessly send and receive files from it. So first, bring up your Onion console in your browser, open the Editor app, go down to ETC, find the OPKG file, folder, sorry, and open the distfeeds.conf file. You're looking for this line, which should be line 5, that starts off with src slash gz reboot packages. Remove the two hash marks from the start of that line and save your changes. Then close that file, go back to the console and bring up the terminal app. Log into the terminal, which is just the default uh, Onion username and password. Okay, first command we need to run is opkg update. And that's complete. The next one is opkg install open ssh sftp ash server. Okay, the sftp server should now be installed and running on our Onion Omega, so we can close the console GUI. Now we need to install and configure the Atom Text Editor. So first up, open your browser and navigate to atom.io. This should automatically detect what uh, operating system you're using and present you with a simple download link. Go ahead and download that file. Now that file's complete, we can begin the installation. Execute the file we just downloaded. Close the browser now. Okay, now the Atom Editor has been installed and is open. The first thing we need to do is come over here in the pane on the right and install a package. Click Open Installer and we can search packages. Search remote-ftp. There's remote FTP. We hit install. All right. That's successfully installed. Now, we'll start a new project so we can configure the FTP settings for our Onion Omega and edit our first file. So we go to Add Project Folder, Actually, have to create the folder first. Select it. Okay. Over on Packages, navigate down to Remote FTP and press Toggle, which will bring up the Remote FTP pane on the left. Click Edit Configuration. That's opened up a text file here which is called .ftpconfig. Copy the following text into that file. And you'll need to change the name of the Onion Omega to match your Omega's unique name. If you're not using the Bonjour name service, you'll have to enter the IP address of your Onion Omega. And if you changed the password, you'll need to update that as well. Once that's complete, 
press save and hit connect. And we can see remote FTP is connected and we have access to the entire Onion Omega file system. Now, let's have a look at a simple demonstration to see how this can all work when, say, we're developing a Python application. If we open our browser and go back to our Onion GUI, I log into the terminal. All right. So here's a Python program that I've been working with earlier. I'll run that now. Which should cause the GPIO zero to flash very slowly. Now if we go back to Adam, then we can find that file which is in root Python and I can open that file for editing. So I'm just going to make a couple of simple changes here. I'm going to change the GPIO pin that we're using from zero to one and I'm going to change the sleep time between states from five seconds to one second. Hit file save. Go back to the terminal and stop that program running and run it again. Now I can see it's changing GPIO1 and it's doing it much faster. So any changes we make or are made to the files will automatically show up in the Atom text editor. There's also numerous packages we can uh, install to make developing applications in any programming language easier uh, with features like syntax checking uh, and predictive text. Thanks for watching. I hope you find the Atom text editor as a useful tool. If you have any comments or questions or need some help, don't hesitate to leave a comment below or to go over to our forum. We're a team of full-time makers here and we're here to help. Thanks.